Hello guys, Matthew here once again, and welcome back to the Tactic YouTube channel. Right just upon the release of the GTX 1060, and as extension to my first review of it, which you can check out in the right top corner, I've decided to do a direct comparison of it with its, for now, probably the main new rival from the opposite team, the AMD's RX 480. This is probably going to be a pretty common dilemma amongst users, as both cars are pretty close to each other, price and performance-wise. The current lowest asking price for the 8GB version of the RX 480 goes from $240 to $260 and that's for the reference design as third-party solutions of it are still not available on the market. Nvidia claimed that their partner versions of the GTX 1060 will start from $250 but I would say that that will be closer to the $300 mark which is probably the similar amount for which will the aftermarket versions of the RX 480 go for once they come out. Anyways the difference between those two is probably going to be in the neighborhood of 20 to 50 dollars if at all as we have yet to see how will the market continue to evolve once everything settles down finally since I didn't have a reference version of the GTX 1060, nor did I have an aftermarket version of the RX 480 due to the aforementioned reasons, the current setup seems to be kinda weird in terms of comparison, especially since the reference design of the GTX 1060, the Founders Edition card, costs more than the aftermarket solution, or at least it should be in theory. Based on that, I've decided to compare both graphics cards, the MSI's GTX 1060 Gaming X and the XFX RX 480 8GB reference model within their, so to speak, best possible case scenario and that is putting them into their overclocked environment. This will give you a pretty good insight when it comes to their maximal performance, give or take of course few percent depending on the sample you have. Here I've managed to get a pretty standard overclock for the RX 480, 1340 MHz for the GPU and 2250 MHz for the memory, while the GTX 1060 roamed around 2100 MHz for the GPU and just a bit above 2300 MHz for the memory. Memory. Taking a look at the results, you will probably notice that at first glance both cards somewhat seem to be neck and neck, but overall the GTX 1060 pulls ahead anywhere from 5 to 15 percent, depending on the game and benchmark. The new Pascal architecture is just a bit better in the raw performance output, leaving the Polaris based RX 480 closely watching from behind. In the end, when you draw the line, both cards are more than capable of taking on any AAA game in high resolution and high graphical settings while outputting a decent number of frame rates. 4K resolution could be a bit tricky if you don't lower down the settings, but it's definitely doable, especially since both series have more than enough video memory. Since I at the moment don't have any exact pricing for the GTX 1060, I'll assume you will be able to find an aftermarket model for around $300, while the RX 480, the 8GB model goes for around $240 to $260, let's say $250 on average. With those numbers on mind, the RX 480 happens to have just a little bit of advantage in value department and price to performance ratio over the GTX 1060. If you buy the 4GB version of the RX 480, you will get even better value for your money since it's decently cheaper than the 8GB model while basically delivering same performance. Bottom line, it seems that will all come down to the user's preferences, possibly the price too, although as it seems it won't be that big of a difference between these two series once everything settles down and once brands release all of their aftermarket models. Of course, you can also factor in the power consumption of both models and their overall heat dissipation, and there will always be some users who will base their purchase on that alongside of some other points, like the card's aesthetics, bundle, particular brand preferences, and so on.
that's it guys for this time, thank you once again for checking out my comparison between the AMD's RX 480 and Nvidia's GTX 1060. Feel free to give this video a thumbs up if you like it, leave a comment down below if you have any questions and what would you like to see me compare in the future, make your suggestions. And of course if you would like to see more content like this you can subscribe to the Tactic YouTube channel or you can just check out some of the other videos from before.